Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video and I cannot wait to show you guys this thrift haul that I found. My name is Corey Meller and I am a mom of two little boys, three and one and a half years old. Honestly, I just really wanted to start a YouTube channel because I love thrifting and I love watching thrift hauls and I was like I want a bunch of friends to show all of the amazing things that I find thrifting too so I'm super excited um, to share with you guys some of the things that I found in the last couple times I've gone thrifting and I cannot wait to show you I found the golden ticket at this new store that opened up thrift store that opened up in our area and um, it's really a new branch of a thrift store that we already have but it's like my favorite one ever and so throughout the store for the grand opening they hid 20 golden tickets they were this these big coupons that had a 50% off coupon on them your entire purchase not just one item and so we like we're like okay you go right you go left you go in the middle let's find one of these and sure enough I think I was the first one to find one I saw one peeking out of a boot pulled it out and we had 50% off it was so much fun anyway can't wait to show you so let's get into the thrift haul I'll start with this beauty so this actually wasn't from the grand opening this was from um, actually the same store, but like a different branch of the store that's further away from my house. This was only $3 and 75 cents. And it says as is on the sticker because there's like a bunch of damage to it, but I actually love that. It's so pretty. It's like, it's literally like cement. It's heavy and it's this candlestick. Um, and it just has like such cool texture and I don't know, it literally is just like a cement candlestick, but it's big. And I just think it is going to go with kind of the vibe I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for like in our new house, like cozy coastal cottage core <laughs> vibe, like clean and bright, but with some fun, like warm tones throughout and at the same time. Um, and I don't know, lots of like textures and materials. And so a cement candlestick was awesome. I'll try to make this a little faster. <laughs> Um, okay, I also got, let's see, I got this at the half off um, sale that we had the 50% off coupon. This is just like a globe. I love globes. I have one that's like pastel, but it's like big, like a typical academic pastel or a globe, but it's like more antique because it has this like cool clear plastic holder. And this one I just thought was very different and cool to decorate with. It's from Home Goods for $24.99, but I got it for, it was priced at $12.99. So I got it for like $6.50. So I feel like that was a really good deal for, it's a solid, you know, metal piece. So thought that was cool for like, even if I use that in like my boy's bedroom in the new house, I think that would be really cool. I got this and this I believe was from, I want to say this was from, this was not half off but this is an amazing price. It's from Magnolia. It's a Magnolia piece. It was $28 originally, and I got it for $2.75 because there's like this crack in it, and it's kind of like got like some watermarks at the bottom, but I actually like it that way, so I was fine with those, you know, damages. For $2.75, good deal, good deal. All right, so that's another one. Let's see, I also grabbed this at the um half off sale this was a dollar 99 so i got it for a dollar and i just thought this would be really cute on pretty much any lamp i can so i was just like oh, it's simple plain and for a dollar i'll grab it i really do like the shape too so that was cute um okay i'll show you these we're at the half off sale and these totally go with like the coastal i feel like it's like the perfect mix of like coastal but it has some like florals and I just thought these would be really pretty like on, you know, kind of like a uh, collection wall or like if I have any of like more skinnier walls that I need something to go on. I thought these would work out really well and they were only $1.99 so I got them for a dollar each. And they're like heavy, like, you know, I don't know if they're like plaster or ceramic. I don't know. Cement maybe? Clay? I think they're clay. I think they're clay, but they have little like hangers and yeah, I liked those. So that was a great find okay i got to these and i can't remember if these were at the i think these were at the half off sale so 
yeah, these definitely were. So they're like kind of tarnished and stuff, but I'm gonna try to, you know, clean them up a little bit with some Barkeeper's Friend and they were a dollar each because they were priced at $1.99, but I got them for 50% off. And I just like the square bottom and you know, you can't go wrong with a nice, I especially like the tall candlesticks I really like. And so I thought those were really nice for the price. Nice for the price. Okay, so there was some, ooh, clang over there. Okay, um, these on the topic of candlesticks, I got a lot of candlesticks. <laughs> These were not from the half off sale. These were $3 each. They're from Ikea. So who knows how much they were at Ikea, but I just love these. I think these are so cool. They're modern, but I feel like I can kind of make them fit the coastal. Like I said, I really want a lot of like materials and different like woods, metals, you know, brass, um, cement. Like I want to mix it all and kind of just, I don't know, make it like a very organic vibe, I guess. And so I think these are gonna be really cool um, just to kind of change things up a little bit. It says they were like, it says designed by, I don't know what this is. Maybe I can like Google photos that and figure out if these were anything cool or special from Ikea. Um, okay, I also grabbed these. These were also not from the 50% off sale, but these were 75 cents each. And I just thought they were like a really cool, like raw wood material and a cool shape. And I don't know if I'll use them like kind of like people use wood beads to like put in something and like stack them kind of cool on like a shelf or whatever, or if I'll use these for like a DIY craft project. I love this style, like hanging canvas. And so I thought maybe I could use these for that somehow, like and DIY my own one of those. I've seen some Pinterest ideas like that, um, or I don't know. So I just really like them for 75 cents each. I thought that was really cool. Um, okay, this was uh, from the 50% off sale. This was $2.99, so I got it for $1.50. This was just a really cool hanging basket. I love hanging baskets. Like you can't go wrong with a good hanging basket. This is like really sturdy. It's kind of, you know, it's deep and wide. So I feel like I could put flowers in this or like fake flowers, fresh flowers, or I could put like mail in it and make it more functional. Um, but there's so many ways that you can use these. And so I thought for a good sturdy one for $1.50. And I really do like the like two-tone like stripe here. So I liked that a lot. Um, okay, let's see. This was kind of, oh, I was so back. I'm so back and forth about this. I mean, now I bought it. So, but it's beautiful. It's literally made of like cement. It is so heavy, just like the other candlestick. It's not, I don't want to do like farm house look or like even French country look. I really want more of like a, like I said, airy coastal look. So I'm not sure how I'm going to style this, but for $12, it was so heavy and such a like, it makes so much impact, which I needed more. I have a lot of like trinket decorations, but I needed more like bigger shelf pieces that will make a bigger impact and kind of fill the space a little bit more without making it look cluttered. And so I felt like this would be a really cool piece. And I just love all the like, I do really like the wear on it a lot. And so I feel like, I think it was the price that $12 is a lot for me at a thrift store. So I feel like that was just really getting to me for like a candlestick, but it really is like so cool. So, and I definitely think that's a good price. Like compared to buying it new in store. So that was a good find. Woo, I'm out of breath. This is fun, guys. I hope you guys like the things I found. Um, okay, this is kind of funny because this was actually <laughs> on the side of the road by our house. There was some really cool stuff. So I was excited that um, for what I found, I found this hurricane glass, which like you can't go wrong for free. And like these can be pricey, so it needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty dusty, but um, definitely, you know, why not pick that up for like a table decoration, you know, centerpiece or whatever, or, um, I don't know. There's lots of ways you can use these. So I'm excited to have one of those now. This was so pretty. Um, this was also on the side of the road, like in the same yard. And I think it's from Crate and Barrel. I looked up like a Google image of it. Um, but it's so pretty. It's like, uh, you know, whatever that would be called. I guess that's also a hurricane glass, but with like a candlestick glass shape inside and you can like put the little tea candle. So that was really pretty. Again, for free, can't go wrong. 
Um, also, I found this bowl, which is just really simple and shallow, but it has like this pretty flower design on the bottom and this fun scallop or whatever that's called on the side. And I don't know, I liked it and it's nice and narrow. So you could throw like some decorative things inside or use it for, you know, candies or something. I don't know. So yeah, that was cute. And again, free. Um, this was not at the 50% off sale. This was from a couple days before. This was $3.99. So it kind of a lot for such a basic like cake pan, cake stand. But I knew I had a glass lid that I was like looking for a bottom for. And I was like, I think this is gonna be the perfect size. And it is. So I was really excited about that um, for $3.99 you know, kind of pricey, but not too bad considering that I finally have a match for the lid. So that was exciting. Um, I also found this at the other store. This was not 50% off. This was $3 and 75 cents. It's got some chips on the side. It says it's from the seller, but I really liked it. It's huge. It's nice and basic. And I think this will be really nice for like, I don't have any platters that have like I don't have really any platters at all, but I definitely don't have any that are like deep like this. And I think that will be really nice for like serving meals and stuff when we have company or I just wanna, you know, make it a little bit more of a fancy meal. I also found these at the other store. These were not 50% off, but these were only 75 cents. And I am so, I don't know about you, but I'm so picky about my mugs. Um, I feel like either they're too big but have a really nice like handle size so I can like fit a couple fingers and really like, you know, I've got kids climbing on me. I'm like knocking my arm or whatever. And so I need to be able to have a good handle on it. But at the same time, if they're too big, then the coffee gets so cold so fast. And I feel like I like I'm constantly like raising my coffee. So I like something like smaller that holds less coffee, but has a good size handle. Really, as I said, I'm a little piggy. I love coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. So I thought these were like not only beautiful, gorgeous. They don't have anything on the bottom. So I don't know if they were like handcrafted or what, but they're also perfect size, like nice and small, but with a really nice big wide handle. So I loved these and there were six of them and they didn't have a price on them. So I asked the lady and she was like, would you do like 75 cents each? So I was like, yes. And when I went back to get them, um, cause I only brought one to the register cause I had so much other stuff. I was like, I'm not going to carry them around if I'm, you know, the price isn't right. And anyway, I went back to get them and another lady was holding one of them, like looking at them. And I was like, Oh no, <laughs> I should have grabbed them all. But sure enough, she passed, she was just like looking at them and then passed on them. So I grabbed the other five and now I have all of this, these beautiful ones so I can purge all of the ones that I do not like as much. I'm just gonna throw these over here, make it easier. Get them out of my way. Okay, next, what did I have next? Okay, oh, sorry guys, this is so much stuff. I'm gonna show you my favorite thing I got of all of the things. I am so excited about this because like I said, I'm looking for like a very clean, bright, but cozy at the same time, like coastal cottage feel for our new house. And this was like, this describes the feel I'm looking for. And it was only, let me see, 50, it was 50% off. So it was $3. It works. It's gorgeous. And it is this beautiful glass jar lamp. Oh my word. I love this so much. Like, I can't even tell you how much I love this. Um, it just says like one gallon there and oh, it's just so pretty. I love it so much. So anyway, um, I originally had picked out this thinking, okay, maybe this would go in this, but I actually don't think that the light bulb and like this thing will fit. So I don't think that's going to work. Um, I'm going to have to find a different lampshade for it, but I don't know. I just love it so much. It's beautiful. Oh, it's like the perfect, almost like sea glass, like green, sea green, I guess, color. It's got like a little, oh, it's just gorgeous. So that was definitely my favorite find of the whole trip. And for $3, oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> as you can tell, I fall in love with the things I find at the thrift store. And it's very hard to part when I get sick of things, but, um, but yeah. Okay, 
Moving on. These are some more like kitchen items. I've shown you a few already, but they're a little bit more boring. This is just, this is brand new. It literally had the plastic around it still. Revere wear, um, if you can see that, bowl with like the lid. And I thought this would be perfect. I love to make like guac and hummus and just things like that. And so I thought this would be perfect for holding it in the fridge. Um, I don't have like a bowl this size, much less a stainless steel one. And so I thought this would be perfect. And it was only $1.50 and really good quality. So I thought, perfect. Um, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed this pitcher. I just love, I have like a big white pitcher that I love. That's kind of this like shape. Um, but I was really um, wanting to find like a glass clear one like this. So I can make like lemonade in it or even just use it for like flowers, fresh flowers or whatever. And so, um, this was $4 and 25 cents. So I thought that was a good deal for that. Um, I also found these, these were more of like a practical find, but I, my sister got a package of these from, I think it was like giant or something grocery store in the area forever ago and left them at our house. And I have been using them for spices and I love them. They are so perfect because like they have a nice wide opening so you can like pinch out, you know, like if you're doing like a pinch of salt or a pinch of garlic powder or whatever. Um, and they also fit perfectly like on the edge of my oven. I don't know if they will at the new house. I think so. But, um, and so they look really nice, like lined up on the oven, but I literally, I've looked at Amazon, Michael's, Home Goods. Target, Walmart, I've looked at every store and I cannot find these little mini ones. So if you know where to find them, let me know. But I found two with the little handles. They don't have lids, sadly, but I figured like even just for like salt and pepper, or whatever on my oven, that would be okay. Um, so, or I'll just look for more lids. But um, but yeah, I thought these were really cute and per serve the perfect, perfect purpose. I also grabbed this. I couldn't believe this was only $1.99 and I'm not sure why because I feel like they normally at this thrift store like price up Crocs, but I guess maybe just the shape and size they just figured. But yeah, it was only $1.99 and I thought this was so cute for like cookies or even just for decoration. Um, so I really like that little guy. So cute. I haven't even opened it. So maybe something's on the inside and that's why it's cheap, but this was also free on the side of the road. I forgot to show this one. Um, but yeah, I thought that was super cute and like a good size basket. So I grabbed that for free. All right, now we'll move. Oh, one more kitchen thing, actually. I was very excited about this. I have been looking for a cast iron Dutch oven um, because I love to bake like sourdough bread, but I also love to do like deep dish, like casseroles in the oven. And so I thought this would be a good pan for that like shepherd's pie pot chicken pot pie um so i don't know if this will be deep enough deep enough for sourdough but i definitely think it will be deep enough for like you know chicken pot pie type thing i am gonna have to do some work to get it back to you know a good seasoned restored finish um but i've been researching a lot about that and i actually have another mini pan i found um for free a while ago and so I might make a video. If you're interested in a video about like reseasoning and finishing cast iron, as I do my research, I'll probably just record myself doing it too, um, because why not? And then I can remind myself how to do it when I find another one that I love. I love cast irons. I pretty much, we pretty much solely cook in cast iron, but um, I just love them. So that was exciting. Um, oh, and that was $15. So not a bad price. Um, I've seen them for a lot more at their stores, so. Okay, this was really random. This was on this, this was on the day that I had a 50% off coupon on one item. And so I was like, I could use it on like the cast iron. I think that was the most expensive item that day other than this bag. But I just loved this bag. And I've been carrying around like a little red like tote bag for my boys. Like they still are in diapers and everything. And so while it's like, I don't need like a huge diaper bag, I still need to carry around something. And I just didn't have a purse that I really loved. That was like a good size. And so I don't know. I just was like carrying around this tote bag and I was like, I would like something a little cuter. And I love this. It's a bucket bag. It is, I actually didn't look up how to pronounce this. Toledon, Toledano. 
Paris, New York, and Rome. It's a really nice brand. I looked it up, but I can't remember how to pronounce it. Let's see if I can show. I don't know if you can read that, but um, let's see if there's a better tag inside that I can show you. Here's like the metal inside. It's beautiful. It's full of stuff right now. Snacks, lots of snacks <laughs> for the boys. But um, it's a beautiful bucket bag. I love the color of it. I love the like taupe brown and the like tan. It's just so nice. And it's got like a nice strap that's adjustable. And I don't know. I just loved everything about it. It was priced at like $26.99, which if you look at the original price of these bags is a really, really good price. But it's still a lot for me. And at the store says like, well, I'll use my um, half off coupon. So it ended up being $13.50. And it's really nice quality. I will use this a lot, um, a ton, obviously. And it's like a great size for, you know, dropping off at the nursery and things like that. And it has this really cool like mirror. I haven't cleaned it, that part yet or anything. I don't know if I'll use that, but on the bottom, but it's a cool feature. So loved that bag. All right, um, we are getting to the end. Just a couple more things. I um, found this blanket at the 50% off coupon sale and this was $2.50. It was priced at $4.99. So I got it for $2.50. I love the colors of this um, and it's so soft. And so I just thought for a nice neutral throw blanket, $2.50 was a great price. Um, I also found some, these are some random things. I found this toy, which my one and a half year old loves. Um, so he has been playing with this a lot and practicing his fine motor skills. And who doesn't need one of these little, I can't believe I didn't have one before, honestly, having already had a three year old as well, but he loves that. And my three year old actually loves it too right now. So I also found this like vintage game of Racco. My sister and I used to play this all the time when we were kids and my husband and I love to have like a game at night sometimes to play. We're not really super game people but we also like don't really have the same taste in a lot of TV shows and stuff and so it's hard to find something to do together at night other than just talk which we love to talk so that's fine but um this is I thought this would be really fun as just like a little quick game to play and have some fun at night. So, um, yeah. And I feel like most of the cards and stuff look like they're there. So, and it, the fact that it was like vintage made it even cooler. So I love that dollar. It was a dollar 99, but I got it for a dollar. So there's those two random finds. And now I think I'll show you the clothes and stuff last, and then we are all done. So thanks for Hopefully some people watch this and have fun looking at the things I found. Um, this was fun. This is a like sweater skirt. Um, it is a maxi length and sometimes like I'm 5'5", five five, which isn't like terribly tall. I always thought I was tall, but I actually feel like I'm kind of average. But a lot of times like maxis are like more like midi length on me. So, so maybe I just have really long legs. I don't know. But this is actually like legitimately maxi length, which I love. It has like a really comfy um, liner on the inside and it has like a little slit on the side that's not too long. So it, you know, is pretty modest. I really like this. And I think for fall, I'm going to be able to wear this a lot. It's Wishlist. That's the brand. It was new with tag and it was... Price at $7.99, so I got it for like $4. So I think I'll wear this a lot and love that. Again, curating my fall capsule wardrobe, having so much fun. Um, I feel like belts are coming back, I think. I don't know if the style is in, but this was priced at $3.99, so I got it for $2. And I just really liked it. It's really soft leather. It's American Eagle. Um, and it fit me really nice. So I feel like, I don't know, we'll see if I figure out how to style it, but I was looking for a belt. So I grabbed that one. Um, for my three-year-old, I found this adorable Oshkosh, like flannel sweatshirt, hoodie jacket thing. It's a Oshkosh. It's a five. He's like in three T or four T right now, like kind of in between. So this is a little bit big for him, but I actually love that. Like, I feel like it's that style kind of oversized cozy. It has the like button pockets and these like fake buttons. Cause it's a zipper, but I just thought it was so cute and I love the color. 
the red and blue and the like gray heather hoodie on it. And it's really like comfy. Like I think it's gonna keep him really warm. So love that for like an everyday jacket. So that was a great addition to his. I'll do a video. If you're interested in a video of like, I, I think I'm gonna start like a series called like Thrifted and Curated of just like the different things that I'm like thrifting for and the how I make my list and how I figure out like how to curate everything and do it for like my little boy's wardrobe, even for one for each of them, do it for my own wardrobe, for my husband's wardrobe, um, for the fall, also for like my living room decor, my kitchen decor, my, I'm going to like make a series where I just like show you how I thrifted and curated the things that I needed. Um, because I think that's so much fun. It, like I said, it takes time and effort and patience, but I feel like it's so worth it because it's so fun. You find things with like great character and you save a ton of money. So it's just a blast. I love it. Um, okay. I got these jeans, not like super excited about these. They fit really nice and they're so comfy. Wild Fable. Um, they were a dollar or two fifty. They were four ninety nine, so I got them for two fifty. I really like the wash on them, kind of like a mom jean. I love the elastic. I feel like I kind of, you know, my mom pouch needs a little bit more to like hold me in. It's like a button fly, but I still really liked the fit. And my sister was like, "You have to get them," so I went for it for two fifty. I think they'll be really comfy. I'm really excited about these. I love denim jackets. They are my go to all the time. And so I grabbed, this is a Levi's denim jacket. I love the wash on this because it's not like super blue. It's kind of got like a, you know, nice, like light neutral wash and it's super like faded. This was only five, it was five ninety nine, So I got it for $3 and it's just really good quality. And I loved that. I also had been looking for like a oversized denim jacket. Cause I love the look of kind of like more of a baggy look. And so I got to tell you guys, do not sleep on the men's section at the thrift store. They are often cheaper. There's a lot of things that you can find in there that totally could work for women as well. And I just love them. So I love the men's section. I feel like I, you kind of have to dig a little bit, but you can find really cute, like oversized tees, oversized jackets. Um, I found a uh, pullover like sweatshirt I'm going to show you. And this was Denim Express. I actually know nothing about that. Maybe it's like, maybe it's vintage, it's medium, but it fits me like super oversized. It's a little bit bluer than I typically like, but for like an oversized, like vintage look jacket, I think that's perfect. And it has like little star buttons. So I thought this was really cute. Um, and it was only, like I said, a lot of times cheaper. It was $2.99, so I got it for $1.50. So loved that. Can't wait to figure out how to style that. Maybe I'll even throw a picture in if I figure it out. These were, um, they're speculation. And they are like a ribbed, like taupe, um, straight leg. I don't know if you can see, it's like straight leg sweatpants. And they're so comfy, but I think they're really cute. And so these were $4.99. So I got them for $2.50. <laughs> Math, I'm running out of brain power. Um, but yeah, I thought these were really cute and neutral and I can't wait to style these too. So maybe I'll throw a picture of those styled as well. Um, I feel like those can be dressed up or down. They're really cute. So this was another men's section find. This is like a white pullover. It has some really cool like ribbing details and I love the buttons are like kind of like a brass button. Um, and like a little pocket too. And I don't know, I just love this. It's so soft and slouchy and comfy. And I love white because you can always like, if you get stains on it, which I always do, I always spill my coffee all over myself. There's like, it's pretty easy to fix. So I actually love white because while you're stuck for the rest of the day, if you spill coffee on yourself and you're out and about, you also, can easily remove the stains because you can just bleach it or whatever. So these are, this was a, it says like down here in really tiny letters, Sears Roebuck and Co, I think, or something like that. So I don't know anything about that, but super comfy. Love that. Um, okay. There's 
kind of two more things. So one more thing from the, this like weekend of hauls and this is gorgeous. It's huge. It's, I'm telling you, it's like ginormous. It's like a full size bed size and it's just beautiful. Look at the colors, the different shades of gray. I'm not even usually a gray, a fan of like a lot of gray, but I feel like this kind of has like a very warm gray um, and a really nice light blue and cream and tan and oh, I just loved it. It's so heavy and soft. And like I said, for $9.99 and I got it for $5, even for $9.99, this was an incredible price, especially since it's like clearly hand woven, knit, crocheted, whatever the word is, but I love it. So anyway, that's my last find from the weekend. A lot of amazing, fun things that I found, some functional, some practical, some just for fun. And then like my dream lamp, seriously, best find ever. I love this thing. It's so oh, beautiful. Yeah. So anyway, that was my very first YouTube video. That was my thrift haul. It was so much fun to tell you guys all about the things I got and have like friends to talk to. So hopefully some people see this and like it. Also, if you want to subscribe so that you can kind of get notified if I post any more videos, I will post more videos. I will post, you will hold me accountable. And also if you want, like you can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest, um, at it, it's at sunflower in the rough and I'll be sharing more things there too. So so good to talk to you all and show you guys these awesome finds. I think that's all I'm supposed to say at the end of the video, but thank you for bearing with me for 40 minutes of this awesome thrift haul. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.